how to fix ntkrnlmp.exe bsod error in windows 11 hello friends follow the steps to fix it the first thing you can do is revert the change you have made recently on your computer recall in your mind which change you have made it may be installing a software modifying registry updating a driver installing a windows update revert the change manually and check if the BSOD is fixed. If you have installed a software and the blue screen has started, then uninstall the software. To uninstall the software, click on Start, select Settings, go to Apps, click on Installed Apps, find the app recently installed on your computer. Suppose this is the app, then click on three dots and select uninstall. Click on uninstall again. If user account control pop up appears, click on yes. Follow the on screen instructions on the uninstallation wizard until the software is fully uninstalled. Repeat the same process if more than one software is installed. Close the settings and restart your computer. Check if the issue is fixed. If you have installed a Windows update and the blue screen started, then uninstall the update. To uninstall the Windows update, click on Start. Again, go to Settings and click on windows update select update history scroll down and click on uninstall update check which update led to start the blue screen and click on uninstall again click on uninstall on the confirmation pop up Many times a restore point is automatically created when some important changes are made by you. So try to restore your system. This is the easiest method to fix any blue screen error I found. Follow the steps. Click on search. Type restore. Click on create a restore point. Then click on System Restore. Here check the option Choose a different restore point. Click on Next. Check a correct date and time here. Suppose you have installed VirtualBox and after then blue screen started. Then select a point before that time. Click on Next, click on Finish, click Yes on the confirmation pop-up. The restoration process takes some more time, so wait patiently and let the process complete. Uninstall Dell Support Assist. Dell Support Assist is found culprit on the computers from Dell to cause ntkrnlmp.exe blue screen error. So uninstall it. Right click on start. Select install apps. In this list find Dell support assist. Click on three dots. For the Dell support assist and select uninstall. Again click on install on the confirmation pop up. Follow the on screen instructions if any uninstallation wizard appears. Disable VPN and uninstall the VPN app. If you are running VPN software and using VPN on your computer, then turn off VPN and uninstall the associated software. So again go to installed apps settings.
find NordVPN or other software and uninstall it. You can also clean boot to fix this blue screen error. Click on search, type msconfig. Click on system configuration. Go to services. Check the box for hide all Microsoft services. Click on disable all. Then go to the startup tab and click on the open task manager link. Make sure that all the startup apps are disabled. On my computer, all programs are disabled. If any program is enabled on your computer, such as this enabled, right click on that program and select disable. You can also right click here. Disable all the programs in the same way. Close the task manager. Click on apply and click on OK. Click on restart. After restarting, check if the BSOD is fixed. Update drivers. Make sure that all the drivers, especially those related to storage and memory management, for example, chipset, graphics, ETC, are up to date. Right click on Start, select Device Manager, go to the View menu, select uh, Devices by Driver. This is the driver's list. The updated driver will show a yellow warning mark. Ensure that uh, any driver is not showing the yellow warning mark. If any of the drivers is showing the yellow warning mark, then click on the arrow beside the driver and right click on the device. Select update driver and click on search automatically for drivers. Close. If any specific driver is creating the issue, you can uninstall and reinstall the driver. Go to view, select devices by type. Suppose display adapter driver is creating issue, then expand this. Right click on the graphics, click on uninstall device. Download the updated driver from the manufacturer website and install it manually. You can also check by installing uh, the previous version of the driver. Right click on the device, select update driver, browse uh, my computer for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Check the previous version and click on next. After doing all that, restart your computer and then check if the issue is fixed. Run Windows Memory Diagnostic, click on search, type memory, click on Windows Memory Diagnostic, select restart now and check for problems recommended. This will restart your computer and check if any flaws in the memory and repair them. After the process is completed, you can see the log files here. You can check by removing all the external peripherals, such as if you have inserted a pen drive in the port of your laptop or desktop, remove it and restart your computer, then check if the blue screen error is fixed. Click on search, type CMD, select run as administrator, click on yes, type SFC space forward slash scan now, press enter, beginning the system scan. 
let it 100% complete. After it is 100% completed, run restore health command. All the commands are given in the description of the video. Copy from the description and paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Close the command prompt and restart your computer and then check if the BSO is fixed. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.